Hello everybody, Walker here. Welcome back to another episode of Create Above and Beyond. Today, we're going to be doing something a little different. Today, we are going to do some exploration. So we are in a nice little spot here. We have almost completely surrounded by snow and ice. And there's some nice stuff down over here. There is some... Uh, uh, birch, I think, forest. Uh, no, spruce type forest up north of us. And there's some mountain area to the northeast of us. But I haven't really explored down south. But the big thing or reason why I've made this decision is because we are in dire need of some supplies for various projects. Now then, what are those supplies and what are those various projects. Well, let me put some stuff away and I will tell you. First of all, this is almost totally automated all the way to the end, right? To make kinetic mechanisms. And it as it does actually work. It comes all the way down here to make kinetic mechanisms. I do want to redo this a little bit. What I would prefer to do is put brass tunnels so that it will uh, evenly distribute the andesite alloy to both of those. So I will need to make another brass machine, uh, whatever, the not the kinetic mechanism, the precision mechanism, so that I can put some tunnels here. And I think if I just do one, two, three tunnels, it should be fine. I'm pretty sure the tunnel will output to a chute. And if it doesn't, there is a way of getting around that. So that's something that I do want to do eventually. That will complete this cycle because right now this guy gets all of the andesite alloy and this guy only gets the scraps uh we had we we did finish our lift and that was good i do need to put like a little bleep over or underneath this here but our lift is done uh, making this obsolete everything else comes up and down it is currently down and it's about halfway done it brings up about two and a half stacks worth of andesite cobble for us to use which is great and i can speed things up a little bit over time i haven't automated this yet we'll probably do that maybe we'll do that in the second half of this episode depending on if i find what i want but this is the problem this is the bottleneck right now this is where things break down i don't have the strainer i need here and i need to automate it to be able to make it work properly so oop, that is the wrong button i'm used to hitting you for a game on my plane that uses you anyway so to make the strainer, as we saw last time, I need to make canvas, and to make canvas I need either straw or canvas rug. Uh, straw obviously is probably going to be what I want, because this is just a cyclical thing, and I'm not going to... I can go and find canvas rug at the various tents, but that's not automating it. I need straw. And then... Straw is milled from rice, panicle, or just wild rice. Now then, apparently, uh, I can't actually get rice panicle from the wild. It is wild rice. So, to find that... Oh, I could trade for straw 8 coin, but I find that might be a waste, especially if I can just grow it myself. So I guess I have to find wild rice, and when I grow wild rice in a farm, it will drop rice panicle? Am I pronouncing that right? Pan panicle? Pan eh, eh, whatever. It'll drop this rice, and that then I can continue to grow from, I think. I don't know. I'm not super familiar with Farmer's Delight. I did look it up a little bit, but there's not a lot of documentation either. So I guess I got to find this. And it said it can be found in, I think it said like water biomes or something. But So what we need is to get some supplies together so that we can make a long trip. 
So I have some steak, and I have some potatoes, which I should cook up. I have some tomatoes, and I have an apple. I can get another stack of apples to pick with us, and that'll be more than enough. I also want to grab a boat, and I wish I could grab a shulker box, but obviously we can't do that just quite yet. Uh, 30 apples should be fine. Let me, let me, oh, that's the wrong button too. What am I looking for? J for journal. Let's see here. Market Ender Pack. 55. It'll get us two shulker shells if we use 55 silver coin. And shulker shells, I think, yeah, can be used to make a shulker box. But I need 55 coins for that, and I only get one coin per stack of wood. Which is pretty sad. I guess I should have... Well, I guess we'll be looking for coin too, so what I'm going to have to do then, instead of what my original plan was, which is to just bring a shulker box and store everything in that, I am going to have to get rid of anything we don't need. And I'm just going to drop it in here because that's going to be the most logical place to put it. I'm going to keep these because those are important. Oh, my sword is a little low. Ah, we should actually upgrade our sword. I think we'll be fine. We'll be fine for now. Okay, now that I have all of that mess, the one other thing I want to make is a boat. Because it's going to make us travel a lot smoother with a boot. So let's go grab one, two, three, four, five. And I know we're on 116, and I think it was, what, 112 when they improved boats so they didn't break whenever you slightly hit a small breeze? I don't remember. I remember 1710, the only real way to use boats successfully was to get a mod uh, that prevented them from breaking on contact with anything. Like, you could lightly push them into a wall and they would break. It was terrible. Alright, I think we're going to go south, because I've already been north. And honestly, there's not a lot up there, and we've already been most of the way north together anyway. So I'm going to go south. And hopefully we can find some of this wild rice. And obviously I'm going to be boating, but that's okay. We should be fine. So let's go right here and off we go. Now, I don't know what else is installed for scary stuff. Oh, there is a chest down there that I haven't opened yet. Should I try and get that? I think I'm going to try and grab that. There is a gold block on top, too, that I really should try and get, but... I'm gonna go for... this first. Uh, yeah, that's good. And then we'll come back up, and then we'll jump down and... Actually, let's leave... whoa. Where'd it go? Where'd my boat go? Oh no. What are you doing down there, boat? <laughs> oh, you got pulled down by the... Okay, I'm sorry. That's... That's hilarious. Alright. I should actually just... I should have left the chest for later, too. Now I have less room in my inventory. Alright, I see what looks to be a drowned structure over here. We'll get close to it and see if any drowned spawn, but... Uh... Yeah, one one guy showed up, and he does have a nice chest in there to look at, but we, we're going to keep going. We'll, we'll leave him alone. Oh, he did actually spawn over there. Uh, so we got ice and snow still off to the left there, off to the east. And the sun's going down, which is not the best, but... Eat some potato. I could go for some big potato myself. But we're on the water, so we're not super scared. Luckily, I'm pretty sure phantoms aren't in this version of Minecraft. And even if they were, it doesn't matter, because guess what? 
Uh, we slept last night. That looks like, I don't know, is that a, is that a boat? I'm not sure. Does not appear to be on the mini-map, just appears to be something. Oh, you know what that is? That's like, um... Oop, there's a drowned right behind me. Oh, there's a bunch of drowned. I don't, I don't see them. There they are. Oh. Oh, it's a little tiny one. That's why they're going so fast. All right, let's, we'll come back and investigate that later. But I think that's a bubble of air. Yeah, that's an air pocket underwater. I'm not sure why those spawned in on this particular world. Kind of weird. Deep, lukewarm ocean. So we're just on the ocean, and sadly. Uh... Hmm, I wonder what that is. Is that just... Is that just more structure? Oh, there's a bright one over there. Oh! Very interesting. Uh, yeah, we're not... We're not equipped to deal with that right now. It's like a jungle temple underwater. Uh, is that something kind of sort of new in 116, or is that from one of the mods? The joke is, is I don't... <sighs> I'm not 100% super familiar with 116. What do we got here? Okay, and here's a drowned ship. Let's see if I can't... Nope, this is going to be bad. This is going to be bad. Uh, I didn't bring a door with me, so I can't do the door trick. That's okay. We know where it is now, so we can always come back. Uh, but still, land. There's not a lot of land down here, apparently. This is kind of frustrating. <laughs> Thought I would... Oh, oh, what is that? Prismarine. Oh, we're coming up upon a uh, underwater fortress thingy. So, all right, let's turn west. We don't want to go too far south because we still got to get back, right? Before the end of the episode, we still got to get home. It's another one of those water pockets. Or air pockets, water pockets. Owie, what was that? What hit me? It looked like jellyfish. Oh, here we go. Here's some land. Looks like a mangrove swamp, maybe? I don't know if we'll find rice here, but maybe. Let's see, what do we got? What do we got? Yep, mangrove fruit. Awesome. Uh, that looks a lot different than what it used to. I uh, wonder if it still drops mangroves, you know? That would be kind of cool. They don't really look that amazing, but... Yep, uh, yep, okay. I didn't... Nope. Didn't get a bunch of flamingos. I don't know if I actually need lily pads for anything. Let's just, uh... Oh, it's just oak leaf. Okay, so I don't know if that, that will actually do anything for us. We'll bring it with us anyway. Uh, unfortunately, though, while it looks like land, it really isn't, so... Hmm. But we'll stick with it and see what we can find. I figure what we'll do is we'll do one day-night cycle, and then we'll head home and actually work on other things. So we're halfway through this night cycle, and at the end of the next day cycle when it turns night we'll start heading home so that's kind of small all right so if i probably should head west from here keep an eye out for stuff I'm a little disappointed that i haven't found a nice big con a bigger continent but that's okay i could keep going south i guess but <laughs> Alright, that's lit up by something down there. 
I'm gonna jump out of the boat just to see. Uh, Prismarine. Oh, looks like a uh, underwater mine. That's pretty cool. Let me see. Okay, so that's more land that I've already been to. It's actually, I think, where the spawn is. That's more air pocket, it looks like. Oh, and there's something under there. Well, this could be very dangerous, but I want to see what this is all about. Neat. It's like a little underwater grove. Occultism. And look at this! There's glowstone here. I should grab some of this. I don't know when I'll need it, but... No point in letting it go to waste. I'm not going to grab all of it, because then the light levels will go to hell. and Then a zombo will show up and ruin my day, right? But I might as well grab some of it. Uh, okay. I think, I think that's, that's fine. We're not going to go too far more. So I need to get out of here and back up to my boat. Interesting. Alright. Land ho, but I've already been there. I probably... Because I didn't really explore it very much, so I probably should actually go and just do a little bit of exploration. Now I see a skelly and a zombie. We'll just... and a spider. We'll just kind of skirt the outskirts of it, because I don't want to get too involved in mobs, if I can help it. Oh, he just showed up out of nowhere. Let's see what we else we can find. I would really love to find some rice. I think I can buy rice, but I wanted to find it. But I might have to buy it. <laughs> Which means we will have to work on automating the silver coin transaction. And since we're set up for forestry, that's probably what we'll end up using. And it shouldn't be too hard. I might just have to really do where the drop off for from the wood farm is a little bit. So that I can split evenly logs between up top and down bottom. Then again, actually what would be smarter now that I think about it is not to do it that way, but to have two drop offs. So that half of the farm is supplying that and half of the farm is supplying the other. Right? So it spins one half circle, feeds the slab production, and then the other it feeds the trade station. That might be what I have to do. Oh, there's another drowned right there. Oh, there's a couple underneath me. They just showed up. I don't know where. Alright, well... This has been kind of a bust a little bit. I'm a little disappointed here. I was expecting to find a whole lot more stuff. There's another boat over here. I'd love to find a boat closer to the surface, though. There's another air pocket right there, it looks like. Not... Again, I don't know why those are spawning in. I wonder if it's that the world gen created some blocks that then it got rid of, and it just never filled in the water. Ah, I found land. Okay, great. Let's go to there and see what we can find. And maybe we'll get lucky, and there'll be wild rice, like, right there waiting for us. What? I think that actually might be it right there. I don't know about that, but... That might be it, but that might be it. Let's see what we got. Nope, oh, goldenrod. Uh, sea beet, wild cabbage. I don't know if we've got cabbage yet. That would be a no. I probably shouldn't 
And I'm pretty sure we don't have sea beat yet. Alright, let's see what the golden rod. I think that's just for yellow. Yeah, yellow dye. So we can bring some of it back with us for just, you know, trying to make it look pretty, but that's fine. Uh, this is a... Oh, what is this? Prairie? Is it fully a prairie or is it... What do we got? Barley? Oh. Can we get barley seeds or is it just... I guess I probably need to have brought my kuma, huh? This looks like it's just dropping regular seeds. Yeah, regular wheat seeds. Let's see if there actually is such a thing as barley seeds. Uh, no barley though, so probably I should have brought the kuma or a uh, pair of shears, right? That's okay. We know where it is, so we can always come back for it. We don't absolutely need it. What I want to do is get back to my boat. And then I can boat around and see what else there is. Because boating is a lot more efficient mode of travel, that's for sure. I was really, really, really hoping to find some cherry saplings. I know they exist. Oh! Well, there we go. <laughs> Asking ye shall receive, I guess. Because these will add some color to our otherwise brownish area. And we just gotta chop this thing down and we'll be all set. And yes, got a couple. Or at least one. Nope, got a couple. Got quite a few. Perfect. And we got some cherries. The cherry on top. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Okay. So far, half successful, right? The cherry... Oh, it's a turtle. Is that a Minecraft turtle or is that another... Yeah, it's a Minecraft turtle. Now, aren't these guys supposed to have, like, turtle eggs or something? Or is that a later mod? Not mod, a later version of Minecraft. I'm so out of touch with the newer versions of Minecraft. Really, really am. Uh, okay, so... Oh! Is that a village? Urk! That might be a village. We need to find more villages because we've slaughtered all of our villagers. So we're gonna have to... What I think I'm going to do... Eventually, is build an apartment complex that's very safe and secure so they can't get away <laughs> and go and get slaughtered by zombies. And that'll make life a little bit better for them. Okay, ooh, there's a signpost here which says 800 blocks that way is a village. I think there's a village right here, isn't there? Oh, that might not be a village. No, that's not a village. That is a pillager hut. I think. Or is it... No, it's not even that. It's just a create hut. Out in the middle of nowhere. It's kind of like Australia. Wild potatoes. No, that's not what I want. Get some coin. Give me all the coin. I don't care about decorative pots. I care about anything else. Oh, I should probably take uh, these spruce supports while I'm right here, because I've been using those to decorate my cabin. I'd say this has been a not super successful run, but... Eh. Whoa. What was that? The hell was that? Is that one of those burbs? I think it was. Grab the seat. Though I don't know what I need the seat for in this, because I don't have... And grab bricks. I think that's one of those birds. It's fuck, freaking terrifying, man. 
Come to me. Thank you. That is a terrifying sound. It is! It's one of those stupid big birds. Oh, he don't like me. Alright, I'm going away. You can leave me alone now. You're scary. It's okay, I raided that. So 800 blocks this away is supposedly a village, so... Maybe we'd go and check that out. Let's take a look and see what we've got left time-wise. Yeah, we got time. We should be able to make it, maybe, possibly, probably not. Uh, 800 is a long way. I mean, we've only barely gone at 100 thus far from that starting point, but we'll go. We'll see. Because, again, I need rice. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to have to buy it. So, I think I can buy it. Pretty sure I can buy it. We'll see if I can buy it. If I can't buy it, then we definitely have a problem, because I cannot automate cutting of grass. I technically can. Let's not, let, let's be reasonable here. I technically can. I don't want to do that, because it's actually extremely frustrating to do it. Using deployers to deploy bone meal and deployers to cut any grass that might possibly show up in front of the deployer. Uh, ooh. What is this? It's all burnt. What is this? What is this biome? It is a charred forest from the desolation mod. Not 100% super familiar with the Desolation mod. So we'll avoid that for now. I don't want to accidentally invoke the wrath of any super dangerous, scary things. And we're going to run across this land. And hopefully we find another... Oh, there's a village right there! I found one! That wasn't 800 blocks. That was fairly close by. I think that was wrong. It was very, very wrong. There's a bunch of stupid big birds here. Okay, let's see what we can find in here. And is there any... <gasps> um, hmm. Hmm. I can leave one. Because then I'll have a leather worker here. If this village is even populated. Um, hmm. Actually, I can leave that one. I can take that one, too. That's a lot of iron, and I don't want to pass it up. Is there anybody home? I don't see anybody, actually. Hello? Is there anybody here? I, I come from a faraway land. Grab those apples. Tomato seeds I don't care about. I don't... I guess I gotta start looking into these buddy cards. Hey! How you doing? Hi. You're a cleric. How you doing? Uh, I don't... Huh? No, I don't really have anything I can trade you for, but... It's good to see there's at least one person here. <sighs> Sorry, cleric. Yeah, that's my... Brewing... Uh, brewing stand now. Now I need to find some nether wart. Hey, I think everyone just got scared. Now they're now they're uh Oh, there's another one. Should I grab two? I can use it to make an alchemical imbuer. I guess I'll just I'll not be greedy. I'll leave them one. See what they do with that. Composter. Hey, buddy. How you doing? I had a couple of friends like you once. They all died. You're unemployed. Uh, okay, I, there's some rice. I wonder if I can use this to plant. Or if it has to be... Like... See, the, th the, the reason I'm not sure is it looks like that's what that gets milled from, but... Let me see. Rice... 
I, th I think that is. I think I use that to plant with, maybe. Talk to me. Oh, you're the same guy. Oh, it's almost nighttime. All right. Well, I am going to continue raiding you guys' place. Don't mind me. Cabbage seeds, tomato seeds, potato. I'll leave the potato. You guys do your thing. Don't don't mind me. I'm just going to keep raiding your stocks and wares. I think I'm pretty good, though. I think I've found everything there is to find. Everything else is just going to be pretty much more the same. So, now it's time to make our way back. Yeah, I think maybe that rice is what I needed. And I don't remember there being any rice in my house, but... My my village, but... Maybe. Maybe there was. Uh... uh! Okay, we need to get to the river, or to the water, so that we can drop our boat in and, um, not die. And then we can, uh, just, you know, paddle our way home. I think this rice is what I need. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't find any rice, so, like, wild rice growing, so I can't really say for sure. What is glowing over here? Oh, it's a little hut. It's a little hobbit hole. If I could find a way in, I can escape this skelly. Is there anything special in here? No? No, but there is a bed. Sleeping. Be daytime. Be a little less terrifying. Oh, you gotta be kidding, right? Oh gosh. <sighs> oh, stupid shields. I hate how shields work in this game. That was close. That was very close. We almost died. Alright, let's head home. And what I'll do is I'll work on... First I'm going to see if I can't plant this rice. And I know that it's kind of weird how you plant rice. Uh... And there's some books that I can make that help tell us how to do it. There's dookies. Hey, dookies. Oh. Well, crap. Oh, what's this up here? Is this another town? Can I find another village? Something on my mini-map that caught my interest. Piqued my curiosity. Oh, there's a redwood forest! Awesome! It's quite the shame that the Create does not play well with Redwood, because if it did, we'd be completely 100% without concern. No, nope, it's just a tent. Uh, might as well grab those, right? Because that'll make me what I want. I actually don't care about any of the rest of this right now. I have sheep, so I don't need wool, so I'm all set there. Let's see, uh, yeah, if I keep heading this away and then drop my boat in the water over here, I can get back. I have to see what I can use lily pads for, because obviously the game wants me to have some. What was that? Oh, Spanish moss. Never mind. Spanish moss. We were making beer, that would be useful. Actually, that's Irish moss, but still. So we're gonna. Head right back home, hopefully. And, uh, I guess what I'll have to do is work on... Oh! 
We're gonna take a detour, because that's a dark oak wood forest, and I'd like to get some dark oak wood. That's, that's lovely, actually. We're finding all sorts of cool stuff, aren't we? I'm glad I took this trip. I was a little concerned the first little bit there, because I wasn't finding hardly anything, but this is kind of making it worth it, because dark oak logs are very nice looking. They're not the tan, bland, brown that everything else in our home is. I guess I should have done a little bit of exploring before I went and decided that's where our home is going to be, but eh, well. We will make it look better, right? Now I might have to do some creative editing with the foliage up there so that we can actually get some drops, but... Because I think it's too connected with everything, so let's just... Yep, there we go. We break this up a little bit, we'll get some drops. Now if I remember right, I need four. Okay. Uh, wheat, I don't care about. That's three. If I remember right, I need four, so that should be good. Because I don't think they'll grow in a one pattern, so I think I need to have them in two by two. And actually, that's all the space I have, so let me see here. What can I use? I can't use mangrove root for anything. Mangrove root. I can just put it in water, so I don't care about that. Goldenrod can be used as yellow dye. I don't care about the smooth stone, because I can make plenty of that. Cabbage seeds I want to keep on to. Lily pads. Ooh. Ooh, yes. Okay, if we can make lily pads a fertility, we're definitely going to keep lily pads then. All right, now let's go home. Unless we see something else interesting, and then we'll stop and check it out. But I think that's probably going to be everything that we find that piques our interest at this point juncture. So everything else should be fine. I don't care about the, I think that's called Edelwood, if I remember right. I don't care about it right now. I know where to find it now, obviously. So we'll just bypass it for now. All right, so what I think I'm going to do, it, again, I have two options on this. I can either set it up so that it empties out and, ooh, there's a beehive. Should we worry about bees? No, I don't think we need to worry about bees right now. I have a beautifully set up method of collecting honey on another world. It, it does require the latest version of Create for the most part, but I think I can modify it so that I can just use today standard Create. Thing is, is I'm going to have to find hives that have lots of bees, so I'm not wasting my time. But, in theory, we'll have unlimited honey at that point. So, where am I in relation? Okay, so if I put in here, I cross the frozen wastes, and I should be good. So let's put in right in this little cove here. And then we'll just have to cross the frozen waste. But the first thing, yeah, if I set up my farm... There, I had two options. I can set up an entirely new wood farm, which is going to require a lot more stuff to get going, but I, I could be done. Or I can just make use of my existing wood farm. The benefits of setting up a separate one is, is I don't have to be concerned about splitting wood between the two. I can just... Or splitting wood between the shipment for coin and the uh, slab farm. The disadvantage is it requires a lot more space and it requires a lot more materials and time to set up. And But again, the advantage is 
might outweigh the disadvantages. Plus, I believe Birchwood goes for two coins per stack, not one. So if I set up a Birchwood automated farm... Whoa! That's a deep hole. <laughs> Let's, uh... I don't have a bucket of water with me. I should really carry a bucket of water with me on these exploration adventures. I'm not very really good at the bucket of water trick, but, uh... It might be beneficial. Might have... If I'd fallen down that hole, that'd have been that. I think I would have died on impact. Even with all my iron armor. And, um... It's, a uh, Woodpecker. It's a sparrow. Alright, now we're back to where we know we are. Familiar territory. First thing I'm going to do, though, is plant some of those cherry trees around. Try and add some color to this bleak landscape of reds and browns. But, yeah, I, I, I really think setting up another... Uh, wood farm might be the best way to go. If I were to do that, it would have to be a little ways away. And then what I could do is I can send the wood both to power the furnace required to power the trade center as well to the trade center itself. It's actually probably not a bad idea. Okay, now that we're home, first of all, we need to drop stuff off that we don't care about over here. Um, fern. I'm going to put these in here for now. Don't think I have a place for fire charge. Beetroot I can make into various food products. I can also grind it into dye and seeds. I can also put it in for worm farming. Or an occult ritual to make clear weather. It summons a genie that clears the weather. Interesting. I'm just going to dump all of this. Uh without rhyme or reason for where it goes, because I don't quite know where I want to put everything yet. And yes, I know I have a dirt bucket downstairs. I'm just trying to clean my inventory out. Because we got to think about how we're going to do the next bit. All right, rice I'll worry about later. Is it nighttime? It is nighttime. Not that it matters, but my respawn home point is set back to where it's supposed to be. That's kind of the nice thing about playing on hardcore mode, is I don't have to worry about that anymore. Alright, let's see here. We can plant... Let's plant one, like, right here. And... Uh, let's see. If I were going to do another wood farm, I'd probably make it right here. So let's not plant anything right here. Let's plant something right. We need to keep it away from there, so we'll do that and that. And maybe one right here. And then maybe we'll do one like there. And we've got one out there, so maybe one like right here. And then another one over here. And hopefully those all grow. Where'd my chicken go? Where'd my chicken go? Where's my chicken? What the heck? Where'd my chicken go? I got all excited about that chicken and it's gone! Uh, that's it. What? I'm, I'm extremely disappointed, game. Where's my chicken? What the heck? Was it a phantom chicken? Was it a hidden chicken? A, dis a, a disappearing chicken? What gives? I want my chicken back. Alright. Enough stalling. Okay, so we gotta build another one of these guys over here. So... I need saws. 
two saws, I think. Do I have enough lead to do two saws? How many saws did I actually do? I did three saws. All right, let's see if I got... I'm gonna need you guys. That's not enough, actually. I need more, but beyond that, I also need... I have enough lead. Ooh, saw. Okay, I need another four. I don't know is that I'm going to have enough. I do have barely enough. All right, so... So we know we need to speed our iron farm up just slightly. I could keep the chunk loaded, and that would help. Metal's in there. Grab the wrench. Let's see. I also need... I need a windmill or a turntable. A turntable. I could do a windmill and do it all all is one, but it would move so slowly. So we'll just do... Oh, and I also need... Oh, gosh, darn. I need three, six. I need six kinetic... Uh, not kinetic. Uh, whatchamacallum? Kinetic machines? Andesite machines? Perfect. So, uh, it's not going to make enough, but will it make it? Yeah, that'll make enough. One, two, three, four, five, six. And there we go. Oh, it made... I should just... No, let's hang on to those because we might want brass fittings. So, there's six of those. I also need the gold hands. Isn't that great though that I just made six out of nowhere like it's nothing? So gold hand. Uh, one, two, three, four sheets. So I need three, uh, 12 sheets there. You should be done doing your deed. And then we'll throw those on. Now I also need a bunch of nuggets. I don't think that's going to be enough. Alright, saw. So let's take a look and see. Saw. That'll make us three of those. Then we can go like that and boom, three of those guys. I also need an encased fan, which needs another mechanism. So I need four more iron sheets. Ooh, boy, I don't think I can do that right yet, can I? Should have grabbed some iron. Oh, wait a minute. What am I doing? What am I doing? I'm a dummy. I'm a dummy. I know where there's plenty of iron. I brought some back with me in condensed form. Where are you? Where'd I put you? There you are. I brought back a ton of iron. <laughs> These cauldrons are gonna save the day. So we can just throw these right in. Oh, shoot. Did I bring back that? I need more. I need more lava. Did I bring back that tank with me? I don't think I did. That's good. We know how to make another one. I think I left that tank downstairs, that lava tank, but I don't remember where I put where I put it. So I'm not going all the way downstairs for it, but I am going to go over to the nether to pick up some lava for our lovely smeltery, which is lavaless. Now, hopefully I get back before it gets too, too late, but... Throw 
Throw that right there, and look at it go. Beautiful. I actually got a ton of iron, I just need to melt it, so... And this probably can get ready to go into this, the melter too, because it's, it's getting low. I should be able to get two ingots out of it, hopefully. You almost done? There you go. Now, the one thing I'm not 100% sure on is if I'm going to be able to just dump the lava out and use this as though it were a bucket. I don't remember. You used to not be able to, but you might be able to now. I think I can't, though. I think I have to bucket it out. I just guess I have to go get one of my buckets, but let's find. Oh, good. Look at that. Perfect. All right, that should give us... Pl oh, and I do have a block of iron in there already. And throw those three in there, too, please. That'll get us everything that we need right there. Don't think we're going to get this set up today, but we'll definitely get it working. And the other thing I need to do is check to see what I can do about that. I need one, two, three, four. Right? Four for the fan. Ah! Anyway, I need one, two, three, four, I think. Because I think I need these for the golden hands, too. Yep, one, two, three. I love watching this work. It's so great. Gosh, if I could just get that last bit automated. Uh, we guess we should probably check that out too. Tell you what, I'll spend another four minutes on this and then I'll spend four minutes on that. Because that'll be about what we have time for. Alright, I need to go like this. I also need one more for the encased fan. And I think... No, not player death history. I want... Create. At create. Let's take a look here. I need the turntable thingy. So, not the piston, not the bearing, not the wind... Or wait, is it the bearing? I think it is the bearing, actually. It is the bearing. Yes. Okay, so I need a mechanical bearing. Uh, pretty straightforward and easy. Let's see what we need for the turntable. Super easy. We can make all of that right with what we have. Let's go upstairs and grab a slab. Right off the belt. Fresh off the belt. Not really fresh, but... One of these days I'll put an elevator in. It ain't gonna be today, though. Uh, let's see here. What else do I need? A bunch more andesite alloy, and I'm probably going to need a bunch more anyway. So, first of all, I need to make that. And then, I need to make that. Okay, I think we're good on that front. I need a lever. And I need super glue, wherever that disappeared off to. Let's grab our buckets just in case. And then I need some wood material. I need a chest. I also need another andesite mechanism so that I can make the, uh, whatchamacallits there. The whatchamacallits. What am I going to... The automatic transfer thingy. Is that eight? Okay, that is eight. The sad thing is, is I know what it's called. I just can't remember what it's called. Nope, not there. There is where you need to go. The portable storage interface. I don't know what's called portable, though, because it's not portable. All right, we need some chests. So I think we only need one chest. 
Because what the way we're gonna do this should be fine. All right, we're almost at the end of this. So what I'm gonna need to do is find a nice place over here. And like I said, I think right here is gonna be fine. I could actually tear all of this down and use this. Hmm. No, I'm gonna leave that alone because I might want to redo that farm too eventually. So what I need is, I think like right here will be fine. Just make my way down. Oh, I also need a magma block. I hope I have some left. Let's find out, shall we? Yes. Oh, that was the last one. I'll have to go find some more. I think I can make some with lava and... I don't know. Let's see. Recipe. Uh, magma creams. Magma creams. Magma creams make magma blocks. That's the only thing available now. Alright, so we go there, and then we go encased fan, and then we need to turn that so it's facing the right direction. And then we say mechanical piston, and we put a lever there, and it won't turn because there's nothing on it, so I need to go and put stuff on it. And just like always, we're going to use oak whole stack of oak, please. Thank you. And we're gonna go plop. And then because I am very paranoid, we're going to... Oops. Get rid of that. We're gonna go out. Out. Now, I can't remember. Can I put this right up against, or does it have to be one away? Looks like it can be right... Oh, yes, it can be right up again. Okay. So we should be fine there. Yeah, alright. So it's one, two, three out. Up, and one, two, three out, and then the portable storage interface unit. So hopefully this will clear everything. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Yeah, we'll be fine. Put that there. All right. Which way are you going to turn? Gotcha. All right. So we go one, two, three, and then one, two, three. Plop one of those up there. Plop that there to put a chest. And yeah, I know I can put the glue in my shield hand and make life quote-unquote easier for myself, but guess what I found? It's actually not that much easier. Deployer. Perfect. I don't even... Ugh, I kind of care, but I don't. Let's see if I can't fix that. It's the aesthetic about it, but I should be able to do like this now. Yeah, there we go. Okay, uh, birch trees. We're going to do birch because I'm pretty sure if I go to birch logs and I go to trade, it gives me... No, that's not what I want. Use in the trade. Yeah, two coins as opposed to one from oak logs, so we're gonna do it, right? Oh, I was gonna do rice, but that's okay. This is kind of more important, I guess, at this point. I didn't... It's not that it's more important. I, I really feel strongly I'm gonna get more bang for my buck out of this thing than I am going to if I did the rice right off quick, especially because I'm not sure how to do the rice yet, and I do know how to do this, so it's one of those which one should I do first kind of deals, you know? 
None of those... Wait a minute. Oh, oh, they have grown. Okay. So they've added a little bit of color. It's still a reddish color, which is kind of the same around here, but until I can find, like, I don't know, blue trees or something, that's gonna have to do. Unfortunately, I didn't... I guess this is not late enough in the Minecraft cycle where they don't have the hangy branches and stuff, so that's that's a shame, but we'll settle. Alright, you, you, and uh, no, come out of there. There we go. You, you, and you. One, please. Thank you. And then I'll put the rest in the chest, except I can't. So, yeah, I guess one of you gets more. There, you can have you can have extra. All right, so that's all set up. Now then, I need to get this set up so that I can go kadunk. And how do I want to do this one? I'm going to use a hopper, and I hope it works the way I want it to. All right, we're out of time, but what my plan is to do is set up a hopper. Now it should be a sh I don't know how I want to do it actually now that I'm thinking about it. I need to fuel this and I need to give this stuff. So I have to think about that. For now, let's just get this thing working and then we'll worry about that after the fact. So there it goes. Just like every other tree farm I've made which so far has been one in this particular game, but it is the it is the pinnac the basic design of a tree farm in Create. Like, it does everything you need it to do, so I, I ain't going to be too concerned about it. It's going to work. The only thing is, is obviously the tree's got to grow, so I think that's going to do it. We got a lot of stuff not done today. Uh... <laughs> Unfortunately, we didn't find what we were looking for. I well, I don't know, because again, I gotta, I gotta check. Well, let's just double, let's just check, see what we gotta do here. All right, where did I put that rice? There it is. And I might as well bring my comma. Where did I put it? That's the question. I did kind of just do a big massive dump of stuff. I think it's in here. There you are. So the thing that I'm not 100% sure on is, and actually we're going to do this over here somewhere, I believe I've read that you need to like put this on a space where water is underneath maybe like this and then you kind of this crop won't survive well outside of shallow water oh well it's telling me what i need to do then so what if i do this instead. Come over here. Put down water and go like this. Oh, look at that! Okay. Alright, so that's how we do... How are we going to harvest that? Well, I guess if it grows up above the water... Plant rice grains in shallow puddle. We could just do a harvester and harvest it that way, right? Mm -hmm. Then we could actually, yeah, then we can repurpose this by shallowing this out and then just putting the harvesters up here and they spin around and they could do it that way. And not only that, but this is relatively where we need it to go to go in and process down to 
make the uh, strainers. So that this actually might work out in our favor. Okay. We found rice. Not where we were looking for rice, but we found rice. We also got a birch tree farm set up going. We need to refine it so that we can... Well, not refine the farm itself, but refine the uh, trade station set up so that we can feed all the birch logs to the train station and the dynamo generator. We've managed to do a little more exploration, which is always fun. How did I do, do it like that? There we go. That looks good. And yeah, I mean, it's not perfect. But it is home. So we're getting there. The automation cycle, those really should go. Oh, well, I don't know. Do I want them over the windows? Because I have them over the windows up front. I have them over the windows up front. I think I want them over the windows on the side too. I'll fix that later. I'm not worried about that right now. Uh, that's aesthetics and Walker being crazy with aesthetics, which I haven't really done much with the factory either, unfortunately. Look at it go. Everything's going so perfect. Oh man, look at this. It's so great. Oh, it's so perfect. Like, I just, I need to... Luckily, I have... Well, I only have 32 left in here, don't I? 22. So yeah, I definitely need to get strainers going. Alright, that'll be definitely next episode. We're going to get the strainers uh, working well once we figure out how quickly the rice grows. Because... Yeah. I wonder if you'll grow faster if there's light nearby. We'll see how fast the rice grows. We'll definitely get the trade station set up going. I think I'm going to have it kind of maybe drop off here and then feed to the trade station, the dynamo, with some belts. I don't know yet. We'll figure that one out. Hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, likes down below, uh, sub button, and bell icon. You guys know what to do with those, I'm sure. And other than that, hope you enjoyed. Stay safe, and we will check you later. Bye-bye.